Hey there collectors, it's Steven and welcome back to another unboxing video. This time I have an SH Figure Arts Pokemon unboxing for you and it is the SH Figure Arts Not Red. So it's pretty cool that Bandai is finally releasing trainers in the SH Figure Arts line for the Pokemon franchise and alongside Ash here we also get Team Rocket which will be featured in their own separate unboxing and review. Now, of quick note, there is a Bandai Premium Web Shop exclusive set of Ash with Team Rocket, but unfortunately, orders have long since closed, and it does come with some extra accessories for both Ash and Team Rocket. So if you're looking to pick that up, you're going to have to check some secondhand sites, or maybe a couple of middleman sites, but you're going to have to pay significantly more if you go that route than what it's worth. So if you want that, good luck to you. So I picked mine up from AmiAmi, I imported, and it should still be available at some of the import sites, though there may be a couple of other sellers you can get this from. So there will be a link in the description so you can pick this up if you do not feel like searching for it on your own. Pretty cool. So... 360 spin of the box, you've been looking at it from all sides in motion, and as you can see, it is quite colorful, and we have a nice window design. So, without further ado, let's take a closer look at the box to see exactly what is going on here. So on the front of the box here, we have the window, like I said, and we have a promotional picture of the prototype with Ash pointing at an unknown object with his hat on forward and the absolutely god-awful Pikachu. Yeah, uh cool there. On the back of the box, we just have some legal mumbo jumbo and slang and jargon all in Japanese. So unless you know Japanese, this is completely worthless to you and, you know, you don't really need to know it anyway. And we have some more promotional pictures. On the top, the bottom, and the sides of the box, we just have one panel with a continuation of the window and a pokeball. And we just have some more promotional pictures of the prototype. So if you've been familiar and you've been following all of the developments with this figure, you pretty much have seen all of these online. There's nothing really new in terms of images on this box aside from the design. And like I said before, this is one very, very colorful box. So I do have to commend them for that in coloration. But aside from that, it's pretty standard. Okie doke, now comes the fun part where we actually open up Ash and we take a look at everything inside. So do take note, this is not the actual review. The full review will come later. So you open up Ash by just cutting that tape like that and you open up the flap. Oh, I got a clean open there. That's pretty nice. Okay, so Ash has one tray. And we have a nice little Pokeball uh, backing there that I didn't really uh, pay much attention to before when I was talking about the box. So here is the instructions. Nice little sheet here to show you everything that you got, which I'll show you in the next couple of seconds. Um, it doesn't look like the Pokeball is detachable from the hand, which is upsetting. Okay, so that's cool. Some people like to look at the instructions for some reason during the unboxing video. So, hey, there you go. All right, so here is the breakdown of everything that we get with Ash, and it does look pretty underwhelming, but hey, you know, for the price point, I think it comes out to like 40 bucks. Uh, not too, too much that you can expect there. We get Pikachu, we get another head with a serious face, smiling face, pointing finger, hand with a Pokeball attached, and a support backing piece for Pikachu. No splayed hand. All right, so it doesn't look like there's any tape securing Ash and all of the well, minimal accessories uh, in the tray. So all you got to do is pop the lid off. Just like so. Ah, there we go. All right, so we're going to take a look at the second attempt of Bandai for Pikachu in the SH Figure Arts line. So... There we go. Just a real quick look at this one, and oh boy. So it does have articulation. It does have an ab crunch. The ears move. Doesn't look like it. Tail's kind of rubbery. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> We're going to take a look at the Pokeball. Surprisingly... 
Um, it's pretty clean. And it does not come out of the hand. Uh, Good Smile Company with the Nendoroids. Uh, they're pretty sloppy. We do have a seam line, which really isn't that big of a deal. So that's nice to see. So those were the things that I really wanted to focus in on. And here is the back stand to put Pikachu in. Does it go like that? There you go. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So we'll focus in more on that during the review. But now it's time to take a look at the failed champion, Ash. And obviously, if you can't tell, I really don't care for Ash too, too much. But hey, you know, it's another trainer. Um, ooh, ooh. All right, so I'm going to take Ash off camera for a quick second. I'm going to put him right up to the microphone. Yeah, we got a nice case of tight joints there. Almost like deathly tight joints. Ooh. Ooh, buddy. Oh, wow. Hoochie mama. Oh, man. Oh, and he's using the old pull-down hips. So that suggests to me that this figure was in development for some time. And they only recently got the okay to release Ash. Because they use a different style hip joint now. All right, so um, the arms are kind of not good on mine. Uh, tight joints are okay, but this is like, I'm afraid I'm bending the plastic tight. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm going to have to perform some figure surgery. Um, to see exactly what I'm going to do, there should be a card popping up right here on how to loosen joints of your action figures. Um, I'm going to have to do that here. So, uh, yeah. You hear that squeak? Yeah. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's great to have Pokemon content back on my channel, and I hope you stick around for the review because I'm going to have some fun with this guy. You know, despite the fact that Ash is not my favorite character, I definitely prefer Red. I have got some fun things in store for this review and Pikachu because I really got to make fun of this Pikachu. It is just so bad. It's not that great. So anyway, like I said before, thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a nice big old thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe so this way you don't miss all the cool stuff coming that is Pokemon related. And I will catch you in the next video.